Well, thank you very much for joining us on Film Speak this week. My name is Andy Rudy. Now, politics have affected us in more than one way. And I spoke to a few artists and they're going to tell us how politics have affected their way of life. Let's take a look. This thing that has become famous of what I election is So election is tulifanya to kachaguana. <laughs> we went on a break for so long, which, you know, we are not creating in that time. With no creative activities in the film sector, actors, directors and set personnel are at a standstill. As we are talking now, most of the people who are freelancing outside there, they have no jobs. Because most of the people who are giving them jobs are not, some of them are expatriates, some of them are from here. They've halted everything because of the political situation we have in our country. Um, I think it's just not the artist, yeah, it's everyone. According to KEPSA, sectors had hit include the tourism sector, which has recorded a 30% decline, transport sector, and wholesalers and retailers have closed down shop due to unfriendly business environment. This election has raised fundamental questions about where Kenya is headed. And it is clear to us that regardless of the outcome of the presidential election, when it's over, Kenya is overdue a national conversation. The whole concept of improving our incomes as a nation, getting back our economy on its feet, increasing livelihood, getting more jobs and employment is about rebuilding our economy. We need strategies on how to get back our economy on its feet. So what is the artist's message to the leaders? Hey leaders, Maze, it's just not you guys. <laughs> Kenya is not only about you. Yeah, so please just Put your act together so that we can all move on. And it's sad because um, our forefathers, Wahenga, you know, they fought. They fought so that we don't fight again. Uh, we would want to beg our political leaders to dialogue and help the country move forward. Because as we are now, everything is halted and... The common monarchy is the one who is suffering. For the sake of Kenya, we need to be sober enough and make the country move. For Film Speak, it's Andy Rory.